another vloggy vlog today 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 uh we just left from getting my niece her first bank account so she'll be ready to collect her monies <laughs> when she starts working um we have some more running around to do today but we are at Publix right now so that i can pick up some dinner i cooked last night some fried fish and grits and tonight i think we're gonna have uh, well, we're going to have uh, some shrimp pasta, and I need, uh, do I need a card? I don't think I'm going to get a card anyway. Um, I just need some pasta, yeah. uh, pasta noodle, panini, and some cheese, I'm going to do my homemade Alfredo. Ever since I learned how to do homemade Alfredo, that's all I do now, so. We need to get some cheese. She wanted to go to Starbucks again just for a toasted croissant. I was like, we can just get you some croissants at Publix. That way you can have more than one. And you can eat all the croissants, toasted croissants that you want to eat. We're going to get some cheese first. Cheese, croissants. Um, I already have... Um, I can't think right now, y'all. Uh, we just spent we just spent an hour in the bank getting her account. I'm passing the cheese, Tavia. You let me pass the cheese. I don't know what we need. Um, should I get this one? Oh no, we don't want any reduced. Is this reduced? No, we don't want reduced that. <laughs> no, thank you. In the world. Okay, let's get this one in. I already have some cheese at home, but felt like I needed a little more. I already have heavy whipping cream. Hello. And noodles. Aldi. <laughs> Let me get two just in case. <laughs> it's a little. We have another person with us. Oh man, that was the last one. Okay, let me get. We're going with the Borilla fettuccine. Put this one back. Like, it'll be six for five dollars. Yeah, but those won't last long. I didn't mean, because I'm having two of them. At least you get more. It's cheaper. I mean, they're smaller, but. Let me go down there. To the parfait? Huh? To the parfait? Yeah. I don't know why I feel like I'm in a rush. <laughs> and I never rush. Because we had an appointment this morning and I wanted to be on time and, you know, just, I just like to handle business in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. Which one is better, like more? Did it look fresh? Yeah. What's the date? It said the same, but I'm saying like, they look like that's more. Oh, you want more? Mm -hmm. What, you trying to get two? Yeah, but... Eat some garlic. Okay. Okay. Put 
seatbelt on Uncle Brian. I put your seatbelt on. We just made it back home and I'm going to do my niece's hair right now. Y'all, my eye looks way better than it did. And I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> Those drops started working the first day and my eye feels so much better. It's not irritated, still a little red, but it feels better. Um, but yeah, I'm about to do my niece's hair. She needs a retwist and we went to the beauty supply store yesterday <clears throat> after we went on our walk. If you guys haven't seen the last video, go ahead and check that video out, please. And thank you, braid, lock, and twist gel. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, I need some water. Uh, so we got that and then some clips for her because I have some, but I don't have a lot. And I think she'll need way more than I use. And um, this comb right here. So I'm about to do her hair. It's currently 12:24. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I did watch some videos on TikTok and y'all know me. If I don't do nothing else, <laughs> I'm gonna try at least, but. I know I could do this really like I've done much more complicated things than this it's been two days and I've been running around with my niece you know making sure that things are smooth around here and getting her settled for the summer. I'm currently cleaning up. Uh, Brian is in the garage, cleaning out the garage. And my niece, we call her Tay. You guys may hear me call her auntie. I call all of my nieces auntie. Like when they were little, they would always be like, auntie, 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 auntie. I was getting tired of them calling me auntie, 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 auntie for everything. And so um, I wanted to, you know, aggravate them back. It stuck. So it's the usual for us. So, but uh, yeah, she's in the den watching a documentary or something like that. I have some clothes to wash. I'm about to wash these dishes right here. I've already uh, made my dish water. And um, yeah, y'all, I'm feeling great. I'm about to wash these dishes and start uh, washing these clothes. And that's, that's really all. <laughs> that's really all that I have to do. Brian and I cleaned up the bathroom this morning. Yeah, the rest of the house kind of just stays the way that it is. Oh, clap it up for Grammy Grams, y'all, because Graham is off of his diapers, okay? <laughs> clap it up for my Grammy Bumps. He's doing so well. He's been off the diaper for two full weeks now. He did He did have one mistake. I wouldn't call it a mistake because I, Graham, I think, he, I think he's a human being and he knows what he... He knows what he be doing but uh like the um, i would say the fourth day of him not having his diaper he did go and lift up his leg on the side of my couch and pee he did go in his gate not doing that so i did put him in his gate now he, i don't want to speak too soon but it's been two weeks he hasn't had on a diaper and i'm happy and i'm sure he's happy as well what do you want a treat i'll get you a treat so clap it up for Grandma Grams, y'all. Leave the clapping emojis. <laughs> Leave the clapping emojis in the comments for Graham because he's not on his diapers anymore. And I certainly did not intend on um, having him on diapers for as long as he was, but I also don't intend on buying new furniture. Our furniture is paid for and I do not plan on buying any new furniture. And who wants their furniture smelling like urine? not me it was definitely a journey but we made it out i see the light <laughs> i am a woman not here to please you it's time to move on cause my time is now i am a woman play by my own rules i got my two feet on solid ground and then i take the first step of me i'll get more
some clothes washing and y'all it's just such a beautiful day oh, hold on there's gonna be on my lip that is hair it's a uh, something yeah i appreciate you guys for watching and i really do appreciate the support today's a beautiful day i don't think we plan on i don't i don't plan on getting out today well you know what i am gonna go on my walk but it's pretty hot right now although that still would make a great walk because the sun is out and shining it's 89 degrees currently um wow it's still gonna be hot until like 10 p.m. tonight. So, <laughs> by the way, your girl is 149 pounds now, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Y'all know what we first went meatless like two years ago. We, I also have a confession to make as well, but when we went meatless two years ago, I ended up losing 11 pounds and now I'm almost, I'm almost, I don't need two more pounds. Cause I was like, I think I was at like 151 pounds. I wanted to get that weight Back, but I wanted to get it back in a healthy way. So I'm a 149 pounds. Now I think it was 149.3. My confession is I had some chicken. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the vlog when I was telling you guys that we were, I was struck, we were struggling with like um, eating the salmon. Like I was getting so tired of the salmon and stuff, the fish. Um, I did have some chicken. And after that experience, I will not be eating any more chicken anymore because I was so irritable and grouchy and Brian was like what is going on and then we figured hey it must be that chicken you ate y'all know how they inject the chicken with hormones my body felt it I haven't had red meat at all but no red meat no chicken for me because no ma'am so that's my confession y'all I did I did have me some uh hot wings <laughs> I love me some hot wings, but what they do to my body, I do not enjoy, especially not at um, uh, 35, you know, as you get older, your body changes and yeah, it really messed up my hormones and now I'm feeling better. It's been about a month since I've had uh, chicken and my body is like, okay, cause you, you, you was, you, you were confusing us a bit. So we're back on track. <laughs> I do not want to experience that anymore. And Brian was like, you are not eating any more chicken. Now I like to fool with him about it. I'll be like, okay, I'm about to go eat me some chicken. And he knows that I'm going to be grouchy. <laughs> he knows that I'm going to be grouchy and irritable. He's like, please don't do that. Please don't. So no more chicken for my sake and the people around me. No more chicken for me. So now I know. Now I know the difference. I'll never get tired of shrimp. But the salmon, I do get tired of. Um, the tilapia, the fish. I do get tired of, but we've been eating codfish and I do, I like codfish. I like codfish. That's my little confession to y'all. The only reason I confess is because we've been sharing our journey with y'all and I want to be honest. Like I'm a very honest person, even, even if it hurts, I'm an honest person. I'm in a really talkative mood. Let me go do some editing and um, finish getting my video together so I can go up today. I've been walking for a mile. This morning, I'm gonna do two miles. It's currently 9.15 and I am hot and sweaty, but I didn't bring a towel with me this morning. So we're gonna keep it moving. I started walking at about eight something this morning. <sighs> Hold on, I'm trying to talk to y'all <laughs> and walk. I'm getting out of breath. Uh, but yeah, um, my first mile, I just wanted to walk. I haven't even been listening to music, but I have these headphones in. I don't know why, but um, yeah, uh, I've been doing a lot of reflecting on my walk this morning and I just wanted to share a little bit with y'all. Um, last night I was talking to my niece about uh, being mindful because um, when I learned how to be mindful, it, it, it changed my life. Showing gratitude, being grateful, being thankful, uh, being present, all of those things plays a huge role in um, the quality of life, you know? Of course, like I practice mindfulness and gratitude, but I found that I was only doing it at, at certain times or, you know, when it would come to my mind. I'm at this point where I want mindfulness to become like just a part of me, like something that is constant in my mind. So um, yeah, I just been thinking about that and 
just how important it is to be present, to um, be where your feet are. And even if what's going on around you may be good or bad, just still showing gratitude because um, things can always be worse. And um, if we just show gratitude and be mindful where we are in the present, it can really change our lives. Mindfulness brings so much abundance. I read something that said, one who stresses for the future, stresses twice. <sighs> I woke up with so much gratitude this morning, like, it definitely also encouraged me to my two mile walk today. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. What's been on my mind, I've been doing some reflecting while I've been on my walk and I have one more mile to go. Well, I'm 1.24 miles in and I'm gonna finish my two mile walk. I'm just gonna leave y'all with that. I'm gonna end the video here. Remember to be mindful. You got to do the work in order to change your life. No one else can do that work for you. You got to be determined to change your mindset. And when you change your mind, your life changes with. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Leave those sunflowers down below as well because we are still busy blooming, honey. See y'all next time. Peace.